guys, Mike Boone here again, and this is a short little comparison between two lens hoods that I found on Amazon. One that allows me to go ahead and use the original Fujifilm lens cap and cover, and this one is linked down below. It is a special slim version of a hood that is also very popular as well. So there's this one versus the one that was designed as a just about direct copy of the Fujifilm equivalent. This one's slightly vented. Now the main difference that I see here and the reason why that I'm primarily using this one is the, well, I'll call it the slim one, but it's actually, there's actually a model number here. It's by Haoke, which I guess in Chinese means good. And it is the model LX, LH-X. 49b b as in black all right so so this one is actually just a little bit slimmer profile so take a look at that see that comparison there so to my eyes it's roughly half a centimeter or less maybe uh maybe 40 millimeters difference in terms of the uh profile when um, when there's no lens cap attached. And this one, of course, you gotta get your own lens cap and it will have to be one that sticks in there. With this one, the Halka, you can actually, um, actually just put on the Fuji lens cap. So it still maintains a really slim profile, which is really useful if you wanna keep this nice and slim, fit it in more easily in uh, pockets or bags, etc., and not stick out as much. All right, so that's this one. This is the one that I primarily use. I also have a 49 millimeter filter in there and uh, that works just as well as for both uh, both of these. So you can use the uh, 49 millimeter filters in, in uh, either of these cases or um, either or, all right. So this one's a little bit cheaper. I think this one's only about $13 or so, but it's pretty much an exact copy of the Fujifilm. This one is a vented, vented design, which does allow you to see. The vented designs, of course, were allowed you to see through, um, through the, uh, the holes there to help better compose using the viewfinder. Now, um, I have actually found that the vented design, the way this is, the vent actually doesn't line up just right. So this actually still blocks a little bit of the view over there. Regardless, it's just a little bit of a sliver in the viewfinder anyway so that shouldn't be your major choice on choosing between the original uh between between this one which i believe is a jjc la-49 x100 this is fully compatible with all the uh, fuji x100 series um uh cameras but the vented design um is is really cool looking i think that's the primary reason why people go with the with this versus uh, versus just a regular hood. There's been some people saying it helps in terms of the wind uh, resistance causing camera shake, right? But I, I, do, I really don't think at 35 millimeters you're gonna have to worry too much about that. We're talking about giant lens hoods where it would benefit more from this. Another bit of of this over this one, which I wanted to find out for myself and I only can see in, in, in person, is um, if lens flare is a big problem for you, this one will provide actually more protection and coverage simply because it sticks out more than this one does, even though part of that is handled by this piece right here, right? So I, I take a look at the angles and this one allows me for a wider view of protection um, from the sun flare or light sources. So that's one thing that you can also consider as well getting one of these. Regardless, um, what's great is that this was under $20 and this was about $13 or $14. So even then, it's really not expensive at all to go ahead and try both. I have them both. Lens flare hasn't really been an issue for me at all with the X100 during the period of time that I used it. Um, so I, I'm really not as concerned about it, which is why I primarily use this one. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful to you in your decision. If you want to look, if you want it to look cooler, like the original Fuji Ranger uh, range finders, like from Leica, basically make this a, a port. I call this a port person's Leica because that's what everybody seems to call it. Um, you know, go with the cheaper one. It's only, it's, it's less than $15 and it actually works just as well. And I believe it's just as good as the Fujifilm version. However, I don't have one directly on me to compare the two. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. I will catch you in the next video.